transmitted by mosquitoes, dengue fever is a threat to almost half of the world's population. Dengue is a major public health problem, particularly in Latin America and Asia, where outbreaks occur regularly. When biting a person for its blood meal, an infected mosquito releases saliva containing the dengue virus. Once in the body, the virus infects the immune cells in the skin tissue. And enters the lymphatic system. The viral infection can then trigger a strong inflammatory reaction. During the incubation period, the virus first replicates locally. And then spreads into the bloodstream of the infected person. This is called viremia. For some patients, especially children, the infection may cause severe forms of the disease, including dengue hemorrhagic fever. The blood vessels become permeable, resulting in plasma leakage. Ultimately, dengue hemorrhagic fever requires intensive hospital care. When a mosquito bites a person who's already infected, it draws in the dengue virus contained in the blood. By biting another person, it can transmit the virus and spread the disease. The vaccine contains four strains against the four types of the dengue virus. Once in the body, the vaccine activates the immune system and the production of antibodies. The immune system is activated in three steps. The dendritic cells capture and carry the vaccine strains through the lymph vessels to the lymph nodes. They activate T cells which then activate B cells. The B cells multiply and begin producing antibodies. Antibodies against the four types of dengue virus are disseminated throughout the body via the bloodstream. When an infected mosquito bites someone who has already been vaccinated, the virus that enters the body is immediately recognized by the immune system. Specific antibodies that were generated by the vaccine neutralize the virus. The dengue virus is stopped by the person's own immune system. 